Hi, my name is David Pintor and in this demo I'm going to show how to create a Docker data center environment using Ansible on top of HPE SimpliVity uh, technology. Um, the Docker data center environment is going to be composed by three UCP nodes, uh, three DTR nodes, three worker nodes, uh, three load balancers, one per each set of uh, nodes, so one load balancer for DTRs, one load balancer for the UCP nodes, and one load balancer for the worker nodes. Um, it's also going to have uh, one node that is going to act as a central logger server that is going to pull all the logs from nodes and containers and then one NFS VM that will act as the NFS server and that is going to store the Docker images uh, for the DTR. So once all the VMs are deployed and Docker is installed, um, uh, a couple of backup policies are going to be created in SimpliVity and all the VMs are going to be assigned to one of the policies so they, so they can be regularly backed up. So if we go to my VARS file, I have, you can see here, I've defined a couple of backup policies, uh, one called bronze, one called gold, so this one is going to back up hourly, every 60 minutes, this one is going to uh, backup daily starting at 11.30 every day. So the Docker vSphere plugin is also going to be installed in all Docker nodes so we'll be able to create volumes that will be accessible uh, by browsing a data store in vCenter. Um, the SimpliVity backup policies will also back up all the volumes by using a dummy VM that is purposefully created inside the docfaults folder in the data store which is where all the Docker volumes are going to be stored. Um, so before I run the playbook, I'll just go through the, the site's YAML file that is my main playbook. So this is what my site file looks like. So, and that's are basically all the tasks that are going to be run uh, sequentially. So it's going to first create the VMs and configure the networking. Uh, this is an optional step that is currently not um, being included. Uh, it's basically distributing the keys across all the nodes, uh, but we don't really need it. Um, we're going to install HA Proxy, which is going to be uh, the software that we're going to use for the load balancers. We're going to install NTP in every server. We're going to install Docker um, in every server as well. We're going to install RSYS log um, clients and server, um, and we're going to configure it so the logger uh, VM is going to pull all the logs from everywhere, everyone else. Um, then we're going to configure the logical volumes for Docker and do some you know, Docker configuration and then we start Docker services. We do some Docker post configuration, like for example installing the vSphere volume plugin, among other things. Uh, we're going to install NFS on the server and on the clients. That's just going to be the DTR uh, nodes. Uh, after that we're going to install our UCP nodes. Uh, we're going to install our DTR nodes, we're going to install our work nodes, um, then we're going to configure the monitoring, which is basically a bunch of containers, um, Grafana, um, Prometheus, and, and a couple of more. And after configuring the monitoring, we're going to um, we're going to configure a couple of dummy VMs that, that are going to be used to uh, that, that are going to actually be living inside the dog vaults folder uh, so we can back up all the docker volumes um, so finally we're going to uh, we're going to finally we're going to configure the simplicity backup policies um, okay so i guess let's just run it So we run like this, we specify our inventory, also our vault password file, and this is going to take about 30, 35 minutes, maybe a bit more. So I will pause for now, and then I'll continue when the playbooks have run. Okay, so we're currently in the last stages of the, of the run of the playbook. Um, you can see now we're creating some dummy VMs and they're actually showing up here. If we look in our list of VMs, uh, let me just refresh.
we can see the two dummy VMs that we've created. Um, the next thing that's going to happen is that we're going to generate a Power CLI script that is basically going to take uh, the files from the, this dummy VM. They're going to be copied, as you can see here, um, into the dog vaults folder inside the data store. We can actually look to the data store inside the dog vaults folder. We have the dummy VMs files here now. Um, it's still finishing copying in the other data store. And when that's finished, the, um, it's going to pick the, um, uh, the VMDK, I believe it is, and it's going to register as a virtual machine. So very shortly, we're going to see another couple of VMs. Here's the first, Dummy VM in Dog Vaults that is being registered. And these two are going to be deleted. So basically, the fact that we have these two VMs here, um, means that because we'll add these VMs into the backup policies, that means that all the Docker volumes that are stored inside the dog vaults are going to be backed up as well. So this VM has nothing. It's a tiny VM with nothing. It's not even powered on. What is important is actually what is on there. So So any any volumes that we create, they're gonna come, they're gonna be in here. Uh, let's check in the S01. I think we have already volumes. Um, if we look in here, I think we should have a volume already. Yeah, there you go. We have a vol one, two, three, four. So when we back up the Domi VM DS1, this volume is gonna be backed up as well. All right. Okay, so the playbook has completed now. Uh, everything successful is taken 35 minutes, as you can see. Um, so now what we can do, we're going to navigate to the UCP environment. So we're going to type the name uh, HTTPS DP UCP on the domain name. Okay, we're using a certificate that is not, um, it's not secure, it's not trusted, so that's why we get this message, it's completely normal. And now we can log in. So user and the password, you would have to find them already um, in the playbooks. Um, uh, in the sorry, not in the playbooks in your configuration file. Um, if I grab for user in group vars vars, see the UCP username would be admin, and then the password would be in a file in in the uh, in an Ansible vault file, so it's encrypted. Um, so we can have a look at the services here, for example. And we can see that we've also installed uh, a few containers um, or, or, a, or a few services, should I say, uh, Grafana, C Advisor, Prometheus, and Node Exporter. So uh, these containers are actually going to monitor the whole, the whole environment. Um, if we go to DP uh, UCP, we're going to do C01, for example, rather than the load balancer because we won't be able to access that through the load balancer on port 3000. We're going to access the Grafana uh, UI. So if we log in to Grafana, uh, we can see that uh, Ansible has, has already not only installed Grafana, but it's also created that that's the source and a dashboard. So if we click here in home, we can see already the dashboard is here. And the dashboard is already monitoring all of our um, nodes. Okay, all the workers, the UCP and the DTRs. So there you go. Now we can see uh, lots of information about the about the systems. Now the next thing we're going to check is the DTR. So 
So in the same way, we're going to have to accept a couple of times. And the user and password are exactly the same Done for UCP. OK, now there's a few things that we can observe here in the settings. We can see, for example, the license is already injected. Uh, in terms of the security, the image scanning is already enabled and is online. Uh, same in UCP, obviously, um, the, the license is the same, so the license is already here. OK, so the license is already um, injected. Um, another thing that I wanted to show is the the logger. Oops, hold on. So we're connecting to the logger, and if we check our uh, var log messages. And we go to the end. Now we can see that we have all the logs coming in from different nodes, of, not just from the logger, but for example, UCP1, worker3, and even we have, for example, this one, UCP1, and then we have Docker UCP CF, CF SSL. This is one of the um, one of the containers that is part of the UCP environment. Basically, all the the whole UCP environment are a bunch of containers. So I think that's everything. Thank you very much for watching.